Right, thank you very much for joining us. Our sign language interpreter is William Silla. Now tonight, hundreds of thousands of 2015 KCP candidates are going to bed with either immense joy or disappointment after the official release of Kenya Certificates of Primary Education exam results. Even in the absence of national ranking, top performers danced a jig after getting scores way above 400 out of 500 possible marks. Here are some of those top performers. These are the results, uh, as it were. Shortly after 11 a.m. Wednesday morning, Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi officially releases results of the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education 2015. These results and answer the question, what do they mean to each one of us? What's my part in it? How have I performed? And with that, the annual NDA celebration for those who have done well commences. Kuti rents the air in Kakamega town as residents sing and dance with the pride of the town, 14-year-old Agre Wabuko on their shoulders. He has been able to garner 449 marks, becoming one of the top students countrywide. It was tough reading till 12, waking up early 4, but it was worth it. These marks just didn't come easy. I tried my best and I hope all of you pre-candidates, now you are candidates, Please just follow our lead and you will pass well. Kisi County is celebrating their girl Felistas Onduso who sat her exams in Gilgil and ran away with a harvest of 445 marks beating hundreds of thousands of female and male candidates across Kenya. We would like to become a lawyer in future. Uh, because there is corruption worldwide and I want to be that voice that the innocent ones need so that I can, I can present them and they get justice. It's a similar situation in Mombasa County where parents, pupils and teachers from St. Kelvin celebrate their daughter Rhoda Ingefo who got 444 marks in the nationwide exam. I want to go to Kenya Girls High School and I want to do business when I grow up. In Kajiado, a lean but rather tall Hillary Tirimba calmly celebrates with his friends and family. More than eight years of education at Kauti Academy may now earn him a spot at one of the country's top high schools. He attained 446 marks. Shukuru, walimu, kwa kutufunza, wazazi, kwa kulipa karu, na ingine wote walioweza kuchangia katika kufaulu kwetu. Nairobi County saw similar levels of celebration by proud stakeholders. <laughs> the Moy Educational Center, the Lakewood School and Hillside Academy, just a few of those who have more than just one reason to celebrate this festive season after pupils from their schools ranking well in the examinations that recorded about 2,709 exam irregularities. I feel very proud of myself, for I have achieved the greater success. Well, we used to wake up at before four to study, and in the evening we used to have preps in the evening. So we take uh, we had extra hours to study. So if you just concentrate on your studies and forget about everything else and just your studies, then you'll succeed. I put all my hopes in God and prayed. So I I knew that God will surely grant me the wish I. I no doubt the celebration for those who have done well will carry on well into the new year as parents and pupils now await the next phase that is Form 1 selection set to begin on the 21st of January 2016. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. The BenQ, in association with DSTV. Get a DSTV HD fully installed decoder for only 5,550 shillings.
Right, and as the top performers continue to celebrate in the ways that you've seen, we would like to hear your thoughts on the uh, KCP examination results that were released today and, the, and, the, and to the 2015 candidates uh, together with their parents. What score did you get and what do you feel about the marks that you got in this year's KCP? There we go. What score did you get and how do you feel about those marks? We'd like to hear your thoughts. The number to text in is 22155 and the hashtag to use is uh, KTN Prime or you can tweet me at Betty Okari and we'll be sampling your views shortly. Drop the rest, get the best. This festive season, buy a DSTV HD fully installed decoder for 5,500 shillings to enjoy the best quality family entertainment with various packages to suit your needs from as low as 1,050 shillings. Now, Kenya's Education Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, has stunned the heat on county education bosses and the Kenya National Exam Council over exam cheating. Now, in a hard-hitting statement to the county directors of education, Dr. Matiangi demanded for action over the rampant cheating reported in this year's KCP exams in 35 out of 47 counties. But as KTN's Muremi Mwangi now reports, everybody seems to be blaming somebody else that intellectual dishonesty has found its way to the young minds among primary schools across the country has now more than ever before ignited a storm in the country's education sector and the new education cabinet secretary dr fred matiangi has fired the first salvo at the kenyan national examination council and the county education chiefs from the 35 counties where the 2709 cases of examination irregularities were reported during this year's kcpe exams and matiangi is demanding the answers quick disaggregate all these results and give each county their results complete with their figures of irregularities of the 7,000, I mean 2,709 cases, each county to get their cases and pursue their cases and deal with their cases at county level, each county. And as we go forward, our colleagues who are here with me in the tent, Muticia and company from the Quality Assurance team, we now must go to a county level management of the services that we are rendering. We must hold people to account. But in an apparent display of a possible disconnect between the Ministry of Education and the Examination Council, the new Education CS took a swipe at the NEC officials, whom he disclosed were absent from office when he made a surprise visit to the NEC headquarters earlier this year. We will also want to take this early opportunity to formally invite you to visit NEC premises to familiarize yourselves with our working situations. You don't know that I actually visited NEC when you are not there. I have already made my own impromptu visit. And I have had very detailed discussions with the staff of the Kenya National Examination Council. I had discussions with your people in planning. And in what appears as a fresh game of finger pointing, accusations and counter accusations, officials drawn from the giant teachers unions Nat and Coopet are squarely laying the blame for the dismal performance of public schools on the Ministry of Education's failure to heed the teachers' demands for better pay and improved working conditions, grievances which earlier this year cost the 2015 KCPE candidates five weeks of class time wasted on the streets. We need to be a professor to answer that. The teacher strike is true, mm -hmm. must have affected our students greatly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when as unions we told them that less postponed the exams for about three weeks. We wanted that order to work. Mm -hmm. I think that affected the student. Why exams are leaked? Why irregularity exists? You cannot purport to a look at secondary suspects mm -hmm. like teachers and students. Mm -hmm. Who receive exams when it is a week to exams? How did it leave the strong room to be out and exposed for, for uh, hands which are not suspecting. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we, uh, we expect that the examination council processes and systems must be fixed. This even as a NAX hangs over the present NEC leadership with a motion on course in parliament to send the senior NEC officials home over the massive cheating reported in this year's KCPE and KCSE exams. A motion filed by Mboni MP Kisoi Munyao 
and more heat is on from the Parliament Education Committee. I look forward for learning from the challenges that they have, got, they have already mm -hmm. faced. Mm -hmm. And I think we cannot lose the lessons. We need to learn from the challenges and move forward. And much more, we need to assist Kenya National Examination Council. I'm happy the issue of Miti Honey House came in. There must be forensic audit and they must carry out that thoroughly to ensure that nothing of the sort leaks from the council. But because it is the mm -hmm. council which appoints those who set exams. They are the ones who print the exams. They are the ones who pack. It will not be business as usual for examination cheats. Well, that is a strong statement from Education CS, Dr. Fred Matiang. Kenya National Examination Council and the county education chiefs, but the Kenyans in general, whom he now wants to join the spirited fight against examination cheating. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi. Still on education matters, the Kenya government says future promotions in the public education sector will be based on performance and not the number of years served. The Education Cabinet Secretary has directed the county directors of education in all the 47 counties to deal firmly with teacher absenteeism in public schools, which he says has become chronic and is robbing children of their right to quality education. And as Patrick Amimo reports, Matiangi says the government is committed to actualizing the aspirations of the Constitution of Kenya to give every child a right to free and compulsory basic education. <laughs> A soothing melody ahead of release of the 2015 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examination Results, KCPE. <laughs> Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi observed that the mean score performance among private school candidates improved by one point compared to last year's results. However, Matiang expressed concern that the mean score performance among public school candidates dropped by seven points compared to last year. The cabinet secretary says though the decrease in mean score could be attributed to the lack of teaching and learning during the five-week teacher strike prior to the sitting of exams, teacher absenteeism is a major culprit. Our case of teacher absenteeism in Kenya is coming to chronic proportions. In some counties, teacher absenteeism is close to about 70% in some counties. So are we surprised that we are seeing a decline in the mean score? Falling short of issuing a sacking threat, Matiangi lashed out at county directors of education who have been sleeping on the job as quality of education in public schools goes to the dogs. It is performance, not presence. You cannot tell me that because you have been in a particular position for X number of years, therefore you should move to job group Z. It can't work that way. He says he will supervise performance of county directors of education who must ensure no teacher absconds duty. As we go forward, our colleagues who are here with me in the tent, Muticia and company from the Quality Assurance team, we now must go to a county level management of the services that we are rendering. We must hold people to account. These results must mean something to us. It cannot be the ritual of coming here and releasing results. Test and measurement do not measure the candidates alone. They also measure us and how we do our work. Analysis of candidature trends shows that there are still some counties where the gender disparity in favor of boys is very high. Trukana and Samburu counties were singled out for presenting a worrying trend of runaway disparities. County directors of education have been directed to put in place strategies that will ensure all girls of school going age in these counties are enrolled in school. Counties like Trukana, Garissa, Mandera, a lot of work has got to be done in Samburu to ensure that the achievements we have raised at the national level of gender parity is also reflected in these counties. Matiangi says the government will continue to promote free and compulsory basic education and ensure education for all in line with the Constitution of Kenya and Vision 2030. The Ministry of Education through the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development will from next month conduct a needs assessment survey to identify gaps in the current curriculum to make it competence based. The curriculum changes will address key issues such as ethical values, equity, diversity, equality of opportunity and excellence for all learners. We have increased capitation for schools, which means we actually want to make education truly free and ensure that Kenyans who are old enough and eligible to go to school have the opportunity to do so 
and to study without being uh, hindered by challenges of racing fees. The Cabinet Secretary for Education says that the government is determined to ensure that there is free education to Kenya children in all schools. Also, the government will put in place policies to ensure that the education offered is of high quality and meets international standards. Patrick Amimo, KTA News, Nairobi. Now the next step for the 2015 Standard 8 candidates is the grueling four-year stint in secondary schools after which they will face another national exam in Form 4. Well, Katie's Carol Derry caught up uh, with some former top KCPE performers who are now in high school and the students say KCP is just the first victory in a long battle. <laughs> Fanfare that ushers in and celebrates the top KCPE performers characterize every December at such a time. Winners are glorified and praises heaped on them and soon that is forgotten. Rarely do people get to know how the KCPE top scorers fare on later once they join high school. In Scooter Estate of Nyeri County, we meet up with a Form 2 student at Alliance Girls High School. Cynthia Gadoni Gishuki is keen on the proceedings being aired. At such a time last year, tension filled her as she awaited the announcement of the KCPE results. Relief engulfed her when it emerged that she had scored 421 marks, marks that enabled her to join Alliance Girls, the school of her dreams, and one that she had selected as her first choice. If in high school, it's, it was, it's nice, but at first it was a little bit challenging, but I got used to it. There was stiff competition in school, but yeah, I think I've adapted to the environment. The seemingly shy Gadoni says life in high school was a different ball game altogether from what she had been used to in primary school. For starters, there was nobody to follow her around. Like really bright minds from all over the country. Yeah, like so it's so stiff competition. You really need to work hard to get what you want to get. When she has been studying in her spare time during holidays such as this long December break, Gedoni plays the piano. She hopes to be an ardent piano player soon. I read a bit and then like I watch TV. Best asset she has is time management. She has been able to do things her own way. If I sometimes she will carry. She will do her homework before she puts on the TV. For her, especially when she joined high school, she faced the challenge of um, having to do the cleaning duties in the morning, which she was not used to. In the second home, we meet Rachel Wamboy, a student at Loreto Limuru, who will be joining Form 2 next year. Alliance Girls was her dream school, but though she did not manage to gain admission, she is happy at Loreto Limuru. She scored 417 in the KCPE results that were released last year. She too says adjusting to high school life was initially difficult. There is peer pressure, bad company and all that. But if you are upright and you have your principles, you'll be able to make it. Uh, during the holidays, she usually she complains that the work is a bit hard there, not as in primary. And you have to, to take it yourself. See at the primary, you are being told by the teacher, do this. The two students have these piles of wisdom they would wish to share with those who received their KCPE results today and will be joining secondary school next year and have to find a footing in a different system than which they had gotten accustomed to. I obviously, I have to study so that I keep up my performance in school, but I still have to do some other activities, TV, all that, going out. Yeah, you have to balance them. <laughs> An exemplary performance in KCPE, they say, is good and commendable, but that is not the end of it, as they have to pull their weight in secondary school and continue to perform well. Carol Derry, KT News, Nyeri County. <laughs> Big 
HQ, of course, is still focusing on the KCP examination results that were released today. And of course, we had asked uh, you to talk to us about uh, your comment on uh, this year's results and also asking uh, candidates what they scored and, you know, how they feel about it. So let's just sample one or two messages here uh, from my Twitter handle. Adura Van Sami says the high number of cheating is a total disgrace uh, to the nation progress. Their neck council should be disbanded. Uh, Tsuma says it's about time individuals take responsibility to curb cheating in examinations. Uh, something here positive from Sir Conrad. She says, my sister scored 396 marks, so she expected higher. She's content with the results, proud of her. Please keep them coming. We'd like to sample more when we come back from this break. Don't go away. And welcome back to KTN Prime. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, police in Mombasa have arrested three suspected poachers. The police said the suspects were found with 54 rounds of live ammunition for AK-47 rifles. They also had identity cards for unknown people as well as Kenya Wildlife Service identity cards. These suspects were arrested in a guest house where they had checked in Tuesday evening. The Mombasa OCPD said one of the suspects tried to get uh, M-Pesa services using someone's identity card and asked the trace suspicion and the M-Pesa Mombasa agent informed the police. According to Mombasa County Commissioner Nelson Mwadwa, the suspects are in the list uh, of the most wanted poachers who've allegedly been killing Kenya wildlife rangers. <laughs> Obvious, you cannot have uh, right, uh, the ammunition of this kind if you don't have a rifle or you know somebody who has the rifle. That is why we are putting them under the interrogation. We will be able to get that. Mombasa is not a hiding place. Unaendu, unaua uko, unaua andovu, Masai Mara, Wapi, Serengeti, unakimbia kuja kuhide hapa. We're gonna smoke you out of those hidings. That is the strategy now. Burundi's president Pierre Nkurunzinza threatened today to fight any African Union peacekeepers imposed on his country in his most confrontational comments yet on a mounting political crisis. The African Union said this month it was ready to send 5,000 peacekeepers to protect civilians caught up in the months of violence, invoking for the first time powers to intervene in a member state against its will. During a state radio broadcast, the president said everyone has to respect Burundi's borders, adding that any such advances will be deemed as a violation. Kurunzinza threatens to use force to repel any foreign soldiers sent to Burundi. His comments came as the first round of peace talks between the government and opposition ended in a stalemate in Entebbe. The talks are expected to resume in Arusha, Tanzania uh, on the 6th of January. More than 220,000 people have fled since the crisis erupted in April. Right, so we want to take another short commercial break. Business news is up next. Don't go away. And welcome back to KTM Prime. Let's now take a look at some business stories making headlines. And Kenyan consumers have been forced to dig deeper into their pockets this festive season following an increase in the price of several basic commodities. Data from the latest consumer price inflation figures released by the Kenya National Bureau of St Statistics indicates that Kenya's overall inflation rate stood at 8.01% in December, up from 7.32% in November. The high cost of living was driven by 1.2% percent increase in the food and alcoholic beverages index and a further 11.46 percent spike in the alcohol beverages tobacco and narcotics index the two indices further uh, registered a 13 and 15 percent growth respectively compared to a similar period last year according to knbs average retail prices for tomatoes and skuma wiki rose by 16.8 and one uh, and negative 1.0 percent respectively an increase in excise duty on cigarettes and beer further resulted in a 22 and 14 percent uh, rise in the respective retail prices. 
Now, as we wind up 2015, Kenyans will take heart to its strong economic growth in the, hard, in the third quarter that stood at 5.8%. According to data from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, this is a much improved performance of the economy compared to 5.2% growth registered in a similar period in 2014. And as uh, Michael Karanja reports, growth was anchored by favorable fortunes in the agricultural sector. By all measures, 2015 has been a tough year for growth. A combination of high inflation, high interest rates, and a shilling that was under pressure in the first half have all pumped the brakes on high growth expectations. The International Monetary Fund revised downwards its growth projections on Kenya from 6% to 5.6% on lower spending. The government expects growth to be between 5.2 and 6% in 2015. Growth in the third quarter has been attributed to resilient performance across several key sectors, among them agriculture, which is said to have expanded by 7.9%, compared to 6.8% recorded in the third quarter of 2014. Growth in the sector was supported by an increase in the production of major cash crops and the dairy subsector against a background of improved weather conditions. However, external demand for horticultural produce was negatively impacted on by the strengthening of the Kenya shilling against the euro during the review period. Despite a high interest rate regime that dominated the greater part of the quarter under review, lower oil and electricity prices stimulated production with the sector expanding by 2.8%. Commercial bank credit to the manufacturing sector grew by 19.3% from 235.1 billion shillings by the end of September 2014 to 280.4 billion shillings. Kenya's construction, ICT and financial sectors are said to have expanded by 14.1%, 8.9% and 10% respectively during the period under review, compared to a growth of 8.8, 16.1, and 7.1% in the same period in 2014. Kenya's efforts to lure back tourists and steer the economy's second largest foreign exchange earner out of a two-year slump seem to be earning fruit, with the tourism sector recovering from a 20.5% decline in 2014. Growth in the tourism sector, however, remains depressed, contracting by 2.3%, with the effects of the insecurity and negative travel advisory by key tourist source markets still lingering over the sector. Michael Karanja, KTN Business. The ongoing annual Cuth Bureau football tournament entered the quarter-final stage on Wednesday afternoon with the two matches on card at the Ziwani grounds in Pumwani. A Thousand Street FC and Peters uh, FC made it to the semi-finals after winning their respective quarter-final matches. Tasca FC's lethal striker Jesse Were helped uh, Peters FC qualify for the semis after narrowly beating Mamba FC 1-0. In the other clash, a 15th-minute goal by Eric Mata set 1,000 Street FC to the last four, edging out uh, Pureto FC 1-0. The tournament continues on Thursday. Then let's teach these mosquitoes a lesson because mama has more team doom which makes mosquitoes go away and not come back the whole night. So you get a peaceful night's sleep all night long. More team doom. A peaceful night is a more team doom night. Right, we want to have a review of our big question tonight before we leave uh, for the evening and of course we had asked you to comment on the score that you got uh, if you are a candidate or, or if you were a parent to a candidate and what you feel about it let me sample one or two messages uh, here and uh, Dan Dikeno says uh, everyone should be celebrated, especially for finishing class 8. Not all can score 400 marks and above. Uh, Wanyela Evans says this teacher's strike made many pupils to feel terribly. Uh, Nixon Kip Kareel, who said issue uh, and administer KCP and KCC or Piondo who leak examinations. Right, so those are some of the uh, comments that I've gotten. Thank you so much for uh, texting.
Drop the rest, get the best. This festive season, buy a DSTV HD fully installed decoder for 5,500 shillings to enjoy the best quality family entertainment with various packages. Right, and that's where we wrap up KTN Prime this evening, the 30th day of December 20. 15. Tomorrow is the 31st day and we hope to usher in the new year in good health. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Betty Okari and I will be joining you tomorrow, God willing, for yet another uh, bulletin where we'll give you the latest updates of what's going to be taking place tomorrow in regard especially to the new year celebrations. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely evening.